Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to take a look at adding three fractions. And as you can see, there are two problems on your screen that we're going to go through in order to get this down. Now at the top of your screen, for reference, I have the steps we're going to use in order to solve these. And they're actually the same exact steps we use to add two fractions. We're just going to apply it to three. So we're going to find a common denominator, rename with that common denominator, add, and then simplify if necessary. So let's jump right into number one here, where we have two-fifths plus two-thirds plus three-fifteenths. Now, if we have a common denominator, you can add right away. But here, we have a five, three, and 15. So obviously, we don't have the same number at the bottom of each of those fractions. So we need to find a common denominator. And the way you do that, we need to list the multiples of 5, 3, and 15 and find the least common multiple. And that's going to be our least common denominator. So I'm going to come to the bottom here and list my multiples for 5, 3, and 15. So let's start with 5, 3, and 15. And the multiples are all the numbers that 5, 3, and 15 will multiply uh, into or multiply to get. So all you need to do is count up by that number. So for 5, it would be 5, right? 5 times 1 is 5, 10, 5 times 2 is 10, and so on here. And that list goes on forever. So I just like to list four and see if we get a match between the three. If we don't, we can extend our lists. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, 30. And I'm going to stop my 15 list there since I'm already at 30. And if you compare that to where my list of multiples for three, I'm only at 12. So let's continue with my list for three because I don't have a match between all three yet. Now when I list that next multiple for three there, I can see I have a common multiple of 15 and that's my least common multiple. So that's going to be our common denominator. So I'm going to come back up to my problem here and I have to now rename each of those fractions with the denominator of 15. So again, I'm going to come to the bottom in order to do this, in order uh, to rename with that common denominator. So I need to see 2 fifths equals how many fifteenths? Well, 5 times 3 is 15, so I need to do that to my numerator in order to get an equivalent fraction with the, a denominator of 15. So two times three is six. Again, I did five times three equals that denominator of 15, and then I need to do the same exact thing to the top in order to get an equivalent fraction. So two fifths is six fifteenths. They're equivalent. I'm not changing the value of any of these fractions or the problem overall. Now let's do two thirds. Two thirds is how many fifteenths? Well, three times five is 15. So I need to do that to the top. Whatever you do to the bottom, you need to do to the top. And two times five is 10. So two thirds is equal to 10 fifteenths. Now our last fraction, 3 fifteenths, is already out of 15, so we do not need to rename. We keep it as is. Now all our fractions have a denominator of 15, so we're able to add. So we found a common denominator first, we renamed with that common denominator, now we add. So 6 plus 10 is 16, plus 3 is 19. And we always keep our denominator the same when we add fractions. It's 15. 
and now we're to the simplify if necessary step. Now our answer is correct there, but it's an improper fraction and we don't want to leave it. We want to put it into a mixed number or sometimes it will work out as a whole number. So in order to do this, we need to do 19 divided by 15. So how many whole 15s can we pull out of 19? Well, one whole 15, that's our whole number of the mixed number. Now it didn't hit 19 exactly, so we have something left over. If we pull a 15 out of 19, we get a remainder of four. We have four left over. And we keep our denominator of 15 the same. So our final answer is one and four fifteenths. So let's take a look at number two. Seven eighths plus one third plus five sixths. So we don't have a common denominator, so we need to find one. So we need to come to our workspace at the bottom here and list our multiples for those denominators. So again, that's just counting up by eight, three, and six. All the numbers at eight, three, and six will multiply uh, into or multiply to get. So here we have eight, 16, 24, 32. Again, those lists go on forever, so just cut it off at uh, about four or five. And then if we need to extend, we can extend. So three, six, nine, 12, six, 12, 18, 24. We have a match between eight and six, but we don't between all three of those numbers. So my eight's at 32 and my six is at 24 and my three's only at 12. So let's extend the three and see if we can get a match. 15, 18, 21, 24. There it is. Our least common multiple is 24, so that is going to be our least common denominator. So let's come up here, 24, 24, and 24. So time to rename these fractions with a denominator of 24. So I'm going to fit it in down here where I can. Let's do 7 eighths first. 7 eighths equals how many? 20 fourths. Well, I know 8 times 3 is 24. So 7 times 3, 21. So 7 eighths is 21 20 fourths. Let's do 1 third. 1 third equals how many? 20 fourths. Well, 3 times 8 is 24. 1 times 8 is 8. So 1 third is equivalent to 8 20 fourths. And lastly, I'll do 5 sixths up at the top. 5 out of 6 equals how many 20 fourths? Well, 6 times 4 is 24. 5 times 4 is 20. So now everything's renamed with a common denominator, so we are able to add. 21 plus 8 is 29, plus 20 is 49, and we keep our denominator of 24 the same. Now, just like number one, we got an, we got an answer that's over one whole. We got an improper fraction, so we need to convert it to a mixed number or simplify it to a mixed number. So I'll put my equal sign here. So we need to see how many 24s can be pulled out of 49. We need to divide 49 by 24. And the answer to that is two, two whole. Now that gets us to 48. It didn't have hit 49 exactly, so we have something left over or a remainder. So if we get to 48, that means we have one left over and we keep our denominator of 24 the same. So the answer to number two is two and one twenty-fourth. So there you have it. There's how you add three fractions. Same exact steps as adding two fractions. Find that common denominator, 
rename, add, and then simplify if necessary. Hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.